Hey everybody, it's me Minu here in audio form. I just wanted to make a little nice video about this beautiful black queen that I have named Sadie. And I'm just gonna, you know, talk a little bit about how I ended up with her and uh, my experiences having a cat. So everybody knows that 2020 was a difficult year for everybody. And for me, it wasn't that difficult, but March was a bit difficult because I was struggling with a lot of mental and physical health issues. And March is the anniversary of my grandmother's death. So I was very, very emotional. And I've always wanted a cat. Ever since I was little, my whole dream was to get a cat. My family doesn't really like cats. That's an understatement. My family hates cats with a passion. Some of them wish they would die. And, um, but I've always really, really liked cats. And I always told myself, you know, when I'm older and I get my own place, I am going to get a cat. And my roommate and I, we both liked cats and we had kind of spoken about getting a cat. Um, but at, at that time she just wasn't really ready for one, but I was ready for one. So in March, I was just like, look, I think I'm going to go ahead and get a cat. And I, I talked it over with my therapist. My roommate wasn't happy. I ain't even going to lie to you. She wasn't happy about it at all. Um, but I was like, you know, this is going to be good for my mental health. My therapist agreed with me and I plan to get a cat. And then the weekend comes and I'm just hanging out and I see on Facebook was having a special on like uh, their animals. I think it was like $20 adoption fee. So I decided, you know, I'm just going to check it out, see what's going on down there. I get down there. The woman who was volunteering there, she saw me. She recognized me. She says, oh, my God, I have the perfect cat for you. And I walk into the into the cat shelter area and, you know, people were out there, you know, trying to take snatch up all the cats. And you had the cats that was jumping out of their cages, trying to get at people, trying to get adopted. And they were cute. Um, but there was this one black cat in the corner. She had more space than the other cat. She had two cages um, so she could do whatever she wanted to do. And she just she didn't care about nobody she wasn't looking at anybody she wasn't trying to get anybody's attention she was just kind of hanging out in her little cat bed so i like you know put my hand in there i was like hey you know you like you like the way i smell and she did she liked the way i smell she you know put her face on my my hand and we just chilled like that for a minute she didn't climb out the cage and hop all over me she didn't do a lot of meowing she was just like you know, hey, I'm here and I think you cool. And I like that about her because I didn't want a hyperactive cat. But from just having that little interaction with her, and I don't know how long I stood there with her, I was like, I'm not leaving without signing something to lock this down. Like this, this is my cat. And I told the woman, I said, this, this is my cat. So that Sunday when I came to pick her up, I'm walking through and there's this in the shelter, there's this uh, big window where some of the cats can look out and see people who walk through. And I was there with my friend who rescues cats and brought her carrier and we walked in and she was like, that must be your cat. And I was like, what? And I looked up and she was looking at me through the window like, yes, that's you. I remember you. And she was like, wow, she perked up as soon as you walked through the door. And I was like, oh my God, like even more confirmation that you know, this was my cat. And um, I hadn't really thought too much about a name for her uh, because it all happened so fast. And so while they were getting everything ready, I went in there and I started like petting her and letting her know like, hey, you coming home with me. <laughs> and it just occurred to me, I was like, why don't I name her Sadie? Because that was my grandmother's name. And the funny thing is that her, the name that they had given her was Mildred. And Mildred was my, um, uh, my niece's grandmother's name, like on her dad's side. And I was like, Mildred, nah, Sadie. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I asked them, I was like, what do you know about her? Um, considering, you know, this is a shelter. They just get whatever cats are dropped off. And they were like, well, she was in Alabama and they were overcrowded and they were going to put her down. But, you know, we stepped in and said, hey, ship her up here. We have space for her. And that's how she ended up here. So she wasn't a street cat from here. And I was like, wow, that's so amazing that, you know, you saved this cat's life by bringing her from one place to another and then finding her an owner. So everything just kind of went together. Like 
So I brought Sadie home and I brought her into my bathroom and that's where I was going to keep her um, the whole time because she had also recently been spayed. And so, you know, I knew she'd be, you know, wounded from that. And I opened the, the little carrier in my bathroom and she darts out of the bathroom, darts into my bedroom because I had the bathroom was in my bedroom and jumps up onto my bed and gets in my pillows and just starts having a time. And I was so annoyed because I wanted to wipe her down first and get all the funk of the shelter off of her. And she just rubbed it all over my pillows. Um, but she, you know, immediately got immersed and smothered in my scent because she, you know, she just liked how I smelled, I guess. And she spent a lot of time sleeping on my bed and just having a good time sleeping on my bed, sitting on the windowsill. She got very well acclimated um, to my room. And I know that I was supposed to keep her there for a few weeks, but after like a week or two, she started trying to come out of the room. She was like, Hey, I want to come out of the room. She wanted to open the door and, and get out. And she was a very, very intelligent cat. Like from the second that she, I brought her home, like I tried to pet her and I was new to, you know, petting cats. Cause I never owned one before. And she grabbed my hand with her paws and put it on her forehead and pushed it. Like, this is how you pet me. And I was like, Oh, okay. So she was very good at communicating, even though she did not meow much um, when I first got her. Uh, but she eventually wanted to leave. And once she leaved out uh, my bedroom, she was out in the living room walking around. My roommate wasn't there at the time, so she would get acclimated to walking around and not seeing this other person. But she warmed up to my roommate pretty easily as well. She was like, okay, you know, as long as, you know, my owner is cool with you, I'm cool with you. Those of you who've been watching my videos know that Sadie is never v very far when I'm making the videos. She's either like right behind the camera or she's like to the side on the windowsill. And she's made a few appearances in uh, the videos too because she just doesn't know what I'm doing when I'm in that room. And so she's always trying to like come in. Sometimes she'll like try to knock my phone over or she'll sit on my papers or she'll jump on my lap and demand to be petted. Um, she's, she's always involved somehow. And, and that's what I say when I mean, she, she's never far, she's never far at all. And she's either sitting right next to me or she's sitting at my feet or she's sitting right behind my head, taking up all the attention from the viewer. Like what I'm saying suddenly doesn't matter. Cause there's a cute little black kitty on the side on the screen. Um, but I, I do enjoy having her there and I do enjoy her having these little moments of just kind of breaking it up, especially with the more serious videos. It's nice to have her just kind of, you know, jump in and be like, hey, don't forget me. I'm here in case you need me. You know, she's a uh, really, really sweet and she can really tell when I'm actually upset and does come to comfort me and, you know, snuggle me and cuddle me and all of that stuff because she can really sense it. And so it's just really, really nice to to have that companionship from an animal. And I do not consider myself a cat mom. I don't want to consider myself a cat mom. Everybody's like, you're a cat mom, you're a cat mom. And I was like, no, I'm not, y'all playing. And then, but I find myself doing things like you see in these videos where I'm like calling her my baby and I'm telling her she's grounded or she's in trouble or she needs to take a nap. And um, I, sometimes I even sound like my mother when I'm talking to her and I'm just like, oh my God, maybe I am a cat mom. How many... What? What you want to say? You want to say something? Yeah. You trying to figure out how you going to jump from here to the uh, window sill? You going to make it work. I don't know what this girl be doing. But now that I've gotten all of the disclaimers out the way and, you know, you guys understand that I'm not here to attack anybody. Did you need something, ma'am? Say. Is you good?
Say, I don't want cat butt. I don't want that. Can you go somewhere? Say that. You is not going outside. I done already told you. You gonna go outside later. No. Stop me at, get away from the door. No. No. Sadie. No. You is not going outside. I don't know why I keep having to have this conversation with you. What you need to be doing is you need to be going to bed. You ain't slept all day. Acting a fool. No. Say, you're not going to open the door. The door is locked. No. 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 The funny thing is that you can kind of tell she was astray because one of the first things I learned when researching cats was that cats only meow to humans. And my friend would always say, well, how do cats know that? How do they know to meow to humans? And I'm, I was like, they probably just, you know, learn from other cats or they just try it out. And it was so interesting because Sadie never meowed. And then there would be random moments where she would look at me and she would just start making these little noises um, with her mouth like a mini meow. And I would respond immediately. I'd be like, oh, what do you want? Do you want something? And she learned over time that if she meowed, that's how she got my attention. So now she never stops meowing. <laughs> Anytime she wants something, she wants food, she's meowing. She want to go outside, she's meowing. She wants to be petted, she's meowing. Um, she knows that meowing is going to get my attention and she will lead me to do what she wants. And even back to her being smart, there are times if she wants a specific thing, she would meow and then she would lead me to that thing that she wants me to do, whether she's leading me to the litter box because she wants me to clean it or she's leading me to her food bowl because she wants me to fill it. And um, some, and she's also really good at using her body language to show me what she wants. But yeah, say this month is officially two years old. If I'm lucky, there's 20 more years to go. Um, and I just, I can't imagine at this point what it would be like to not have her in my life. I just can't. Like, even when I'm thinking about traveling somewhere or moving to another country or, or you know, any big life change I think about, she's always there. And I'm always like, how am I going to make her comfortable on a flight? How am I going to make her comfortable on a car ride? You know, even if I never get another cat, she's always going to be here with me as long as I can possibly have her. As long as she's going to, you know, be here, she's going to be with me. But that's all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys enjoyed these cute cat videos and a little bit of a, a break from all the seriousness and the stress of all the other mm -hmm. topics that we've been talking about. So yeah, happy birthday, Sadie. I love you. And independent. Yeah. See you guys next week. Gotta open her own doors. You good, baby? You happy now? You got to come outside? <laughs>